great crested newt is one of our rarest amphibians here in the UK and one that I've never actually encountered. I'm hoping we're going to get a glimpse of one today as we're going to be meeting the scientists who are studying the great crested newt here in Epping Forest. Lawrence Jarvis is an expert in great crested newts. The data he's gathering is proving vital in the battle to preserve Britain's declining populations. Well, I've managed to convince Lawrence here to show me his newts. Thank you so much. That's okay. Can you run through what exactly you do? You're trapping great crested newts here, aren't you? That's right, yes. Um, basically, I use bottle traps. Um, essentially, you have a, a two litre drinks bottle. Uh, you cut off the end and turn it inside out. Um, I go to the ponds in the evening. Um, I put a cane through the trap um, and put the traps in the pond, at the edge of the pond, um, about two metres apart. Uh, leave them overnight and then come back the next morning early and the newts will swum in and they'll have hopefully stayed there and I have caught them. So they can't get back out of the tiny hole? They don't seem to find their way out, no, there's, there's nothing to track them in, um, so they're obviously just a bit curious. Yeah. yeah. What is it about great crested newts that you love? Um, well, they're amazing creatures, they're, they're ancient, they've been around for millions of years and they've remained unchanged throughout that period. Um, and there are a lot of them around Epping Forest and I wanted to find out a bit more about their ecology which is quite complex. Globally um, amphibians are in massive decline, lots of species worldwide are going extinct. Great crested newt is one of those species um, that we also need to look after and protect, particularly in the UK as it's declining in the UK as well. Um, there have been a lot of problems with ponds silting up and habitat fragmentation, a lot of building of roads and isolating habitats, uh, building development as well throughout the country. It's basically reduced the habitat available for species, both ponds and sort of terrestrial areas as well. And so they're protected within the UK. Um, you need licences to be able to handle them and do any work with them. So you have a newt licence? That's right, yeah, newt licence. Yes. <laughs> licence to newt? That's right, yes. <laughs> How many do you set up in the night? Um, I might put uh, about 20 in a pond. And how many do you tend to get? Um, maybe up to 20, 25 newts. Oh wow, yes. so I've got a really good chance of seeing one today. Hopefully, yes. yes. Can we go and have a look? Can we have a look? Yes. yes, thank okay. you. Successful catch that was. You can really see his crest. Okay, so this is the male. You can see uh, the crest's fallen down, but it's the crest that's along the body, and it's got a nice white flash on the tail. And he's got his nice spotty underside. He is gorgeous. He is very pretty, isn't he? And he's got even little um, orange stripes on the toes. Let's see if we can see those. So how old do you reckon this one is? It's difficult to tell because they grow at different rates, but he's probably several years old, this male. They can live up to maybe 14 years old in the wild. Um, once they reach adult age, um, their lifespan's quite long, as their skin's toxic, um, so predators don't tend to eat them as often. Is that why they've got the big warning colour belly, perhaps? That's right, yes. Yeah. Basically, I take them and I um, measure their length, their body length, and weigh them, um, which gives me an idea of how healthy they are, their sort of body condition, um, and then I photograph them. Um, they've got belly patterns which are unique to each individual, um, so you take a photo of them and then you've got a record of that individual you can track how many times you've caught that one newt. Would you like to hold this newt? I'd love to. Okay, here we go. Back in the lab, Lawrence has found that female newts are very easy to please. Well, strangely enough, they love to lay their eggs on black plastic bin liners, which are cut into strips. Uh, maybe they're nice and clean and fresh. Uh, for some reason, they just like to lay their eggs on them. Yeah. Now, when they come to lay them, they take the black plastic and they wrap the eggs up. So they fold it, and they might do it several times. It's got several folds and several eggs in there. Research scientists like Lawrence are dedicated to ensuring the future survival of great crested newts here in the UK.